Today, I want to introduce you to the person who has required a lot of my attention lately. Uh, this is Rand Steinhorst, and my wife and I welcomed him into the world a couple months ago on September 14th. He was born 7 pounds, 12 ounces, totally healthy. And the last couple of months, obviously, he has taken a lot of our attention and energy. Uh, somebody asked me if he was our newest and greatest source of distraction. Uh, the problem with that is that that misunderstands what a distraction is. You see, a distraction is something that diverts our attention from what's most important. And the problem is we live in an age with all of this connectivity, all of these things coming at us, that if we're not careful, we can find ourselves in a situation where we don't realize what's a distraction and where we should actually put our attention. In some sense, it's really exciting because we can connect to anyone, anywhere, anytime. On the other hand, that means we do. We got over 500 million tweets that go out every single day. 2.2 million likes occur on Facebook every single minute. And the average teenager sends 4,000 texts a month. I have no idea what you could possibly say that many times. Although I guess I'll get to learn about it in about 13 years. But while we have all this connectivity, we also all feel the burden of the level of noise and the saturation that has affected every part of our lives causing us to feel more disconnected from the people and the things that are actually most important to us. And so in honor of my son, I wanted to do a short three-part series where we actually investigate how we allocate our attention and how we can better make choices about the things that we put our attention on so that when we think about who we are, that it actually aligns with who we want to be. Now, with that in mind, I know that your attention is valuable. So we'll close off until next week. In the meantime, thank you for your attention.